What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel here today, hope you guys day is going all well. In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about the brand new Adept Supreme update, which is 1.1 for the CDG drop, which should be dropping on Thursday at 11am, so let's jump straight into it. So if you guys are new to this bot, basically what I want you guys to do is go into the description, click the video where I've done a tutorial, it's roughly nearly 20 minutes long, breaking down each feature of the actual bot, but if you guys are like experienced with the bot, hit a couple of weeks and you guys are wanting the best settings for the CDG drop which should be on thursday i want you guys to go ahead and run your bot so double click your extension wherever it is wait for the bot to load up here give it one second as you guys can see i've already set up my task for my drops so basically the sweatshirts are the hoodies for the uk people and split box seems to be the keywords now one thing i want you guys to remember is supreme do tend to change up their keywords to prevent bots which is what this is so if there's any last minute changes, always keep your notifications on the Discord for any changes that the admin will put in there just to maximize your success that much better. Now, I know there's a lot of things going on in the screen, but we're gonna go to the settings and there should be some white boxes on the screen just because I'm blocking out my API codes and my lifetime key, just so you guys don't duck it, but I'm gonna break down what this whole screen is. So, breaking it down, in detail, we have three little tabs here called True Capture, Image Typers, and Anti Capture. You might be asking yourself, what the hell are those? Now, basically, what these are, these are capture solving services. So, as you guys can see on the bottom right, it says Capture Tokens. If you guys experience with this bot, you guys will know what Capture Tokens are basically tokens you get for solving captures. Therefore, those tokens can be used at checkout when you're checking out a product that you're going for. So, True Capture, Image Typers, and Anti Capture basically solve the captures for you. Now, these are different websites, personally, and from what I've heard from support team and the devs, two capture seems to be the best. It actually goes in this order. It goes two capture, image typers, and anti capture. So what you guys wanna do is go into the description, go to the website, and essentially on the website, fairly simple, you make an account, you sign up, and you add funds. Once you add funds, they will give you an API key, and you essentially type it into this box. So it should say API key. I know I'm not blocking this out because I haven't set up any type of funds on the anti capture website. Yet again, I am recommending you guys go with two capture and image typers for the best service. So essentially, once you put in your API key, to the box what this will do is it will request captures from the website so therefore you guys don't need to be at your computer for the drop you guys can be afk and it will automatically take funds to your account i think the average is three dollars per thousand captures which is honestly fine because i don't know a lot of people that will be going over like 30 per bot so you guys should be fine for that now in this update nothing has changed on the profiles page yet again if you guys are new to this whole thing videos in the description if you guys want to go check that out in terms of what you will do on this page for proxies nothing has changed as well now for tasks i know this looks very very complicated i'm going to break it down for you pretty much a couple of more columns have been added and nothing has been changed down here so what you guys want to do is click add task this is where the new updates have kind of came in so i'm going to break down each little feature for you so obviously you want to hit up your profile as, as you guys can see i'm hitting personal halifax you guys want to hit up the category so let's do sweatshirts which is the hoodie then proxy so obviously you can use proxies if you guys are using proxies you want to use a server so currently for this video i want not on the server i'm actually on my normal desktop so i'm going to keep that one ticked now capture bypass capture bypass was originally just for the us but it has been released for uk now from what i've been hearing from uh the devs and also the support team if you guys want to use bypass i recommend using bypass so for capture bypass what you guys want to do is basically use half your task on bypass and half your task without bypass just because if you're banking all your money on just bypass and it doesn't work you guys will have no chance of copying so you want to equal out your success and also on bot mode this is another new feature now people are mostly confused about this from what i've seen in discord bot mode is essentially two different types of modes request on browser now as you guys can see it says slower but more human like now you guys might be asking yourself how can a bot be more human like well Ed Case, the developer, the main developer for the bot, basically what he's done is he created a new way for your task to run and check out your items. Now, what browser is, is basically generating a web page for Supreme and acting more human-like. So it's doing more clicks, it's doing slower checkout times, but only by a fraction. So if, they, if Supreme actually adds something called Toru, what that will basically do is it will wait it will try to look for bots for when they're accessing the website. So if you have the browser bot mode enabled, what that will do is enable you to make your bot look more real when it's checking out so you don't get your tasks banned. 
personally, I recommend on running both on your tasks, hence why my tasks have both running. For keywords, nothing's changed, colors, nothing changed, size, nothing changed, and checkout delay, nothing's changed. To maximize your profits, I would suggest putting only large and well, it depends if you're in the us you can just leave size random because honestly you can get small so that's good profit if you're in the uk just run large and medium color you can leave that random because there's only two available colors and to be honest i don't think you guys will mind what color you do get because both colors would be good profit and the keyword is split box yes this is subject to change so do, please do not bank on split box it may change in discord if you see the change go ahead and change your product keyword so guys that is everything for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy the video hopefully this video did help you guys out i know it's a bit rough so sorry if i started you in the video i'm actually recording this before like literally the night before the drop as you guys can back, tell by the time and the day so if you guys do manage to cop let me know down below in the comments and guys also what you gotta remember is if you maximize your entire tips that i said in this video so literally using bypass using proxies using servers using all mode using new mode then i am 100% sure you guys will at least cop one item from the CDG drop. Hopefully you guys do smash a like if you enjoyed it. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace out.